none of those bucks were big enough so I'm gonna keep moving and try and find hopefully a mob of does there was a couple of first first lights or two does but do you think that they would stay where they needed to stay for long enough <laughs> anyway He doesn't look bad. It wouldn't take me long to get out of there. Yeah, because if I got to that face, I'd be within range, I reckon. So where is he? He's up here. I don't know. I need to get a better look at him. Basically into the guts of this gully. I've seen him stag and hind higher up on one of the burnt faces. He's still a long ways off, but he's just feeding in the middle of this big open burnt patch. So we are trying to get up there before it gets too dark. I think I've got a bit of a plan on where I can shoot from, so it should be about 500 hopefully. And if it is, he should be in big trouble if he's big enough. But we'll see. Well, turns out my mass was a bit off. I got to the spot I thought I could shoot from. It's still 8.50. I don't want to shoot that far. So... Seems like he's getting further away, so I'm just trying to cover ground and hope they don't spook. Well, I didn't shoot this stack, but I actually shot something better. Just shot a wild dog. It was eating something out there. Set the camera up back here, he got into 160. Couldn't shoot from back there because there's so much shit in the way. But it's down in the scope, so. Man, what a mission. I am wrecked. I don't even know how fast and how far I've just run up this bloody hill. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go get that dog, go back to the camera, scalp it out, get the hell out of here, ready for work tomorrow. <laughs> I was making a way up to the dog. Bloody look up, and that stag, that velvet one I videoed from down the bottom of the gully, is bloody on the top of the hill just watching me. So I just sent one out, it's probably like 100 yards. <laughs> Damn, what an arvo. <laughs> Looks like he's down, so I've got some work out of me now. Good sized dog too. And the stag's up there. Yeah. That's what I've just been walking through. Pretty nice down here, but 
Tell you what, it's hard going. This led me into this stag, and then I was gonna basically, yeah, there is, ensure that he's out, which looks like he is, and he's not as big as I thought he was. Just about to get the car up in on this top bridge. Good girl. Good girl. Good dog. Well, I just found the stump I shot from, so I know I'm not that far from the camera now because I'll tell you what, it's bloody hard finding the camera in the dark because I set it up behind me and, and walked in, so I should be able to find it reasonably quickly now. Just, we're trying to follow me footsteps a bit here. Shouldn't be too hard to find, hopefully. Not even all this burnt shit, it's just bloody hard in the dark. Um, just using the old phone torch because I dropped my pack with the camera. And of course, my pack has a head torch in it, so I know I'm heading in the right direction. It's going to be an absolute bloody mission to get out of here though because I've got to go back and get the car and then where the friggin hell is this buddy camera? <sighs> got to go back and get the car and then I have to drive up to the track that's closest to this dog and deer. Oh, I can't see this friggin camera. I'm going to have to stop videoing and concentrate. <laughs> Remy the little bloody legend has just found the camera and backpack for me. I was looking in nowhere near the right spot. I looked down, I need a hint of camera lens and Remy eyes down here. <sighs> Friggin' hell. Good dog, Ram. Smart girl, I'll tell you that. I've been looking for that for friggin' ages. Oh, you're a good dog. You're a good dog, hey? Good girl. Awesome. So you what? This shit here almost reminds me of New Zealand. Apart from all the sticks and crap, but just shale, steep, lose your footing all the time. But I'm only about a K from the car now. So. I won't complain too much. <laughs> What's that mission? There's a big dog here.